I'm starting off with this wreath that I just took off my door today. I'll show you a little video of that because I mean, of course you want to see me take it off the door. Then I'm going to take all this stuff off and we'll get started. The wind and the storms have been blowing all of these branches down. We saw this all over the ground and I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, it's free seeded eucalyptus. So that is what I'm going to use to make my wreath today and I'm super excited. If you can't find it in the street and you aren't stealing it from your neighbor's tree, then you can go to a floral shop or you can order it from Costco or maybe Sam's. Uh, now that I have it, it is nasty because I didn't get it at a florist. I got it in the street and it's real like from the tree. So I have to go clean it off. So I'm going to take you with me to hose it down. January in the northern hemisphere and I have flowers growing in my yard. California is so great. Eucalyptus is dry and ready to go. Clippers first. I'm going to start by taking a huge branch. I like to start with the biggest ones first. This part is a little unruly and kind of the rest of the stuff starts here so I'm just going to clip that off and save that for later. I like to start at the top. See how it already kind of forms on its own? And I'll clip off. I'm going to clip right here. And then I'm going to take some wire. You can just use these clippers or a wire cutter. I like to cut off a pretty decent size. You could cut off a smaller piece too, but I like to make sure that it's really secure, especially the part on the top, because that's where it's going to secure it onto the wreath. This is why I like the grapevine wreaths, because you can kind of stick it underneath some of the vine. And I like to pull it through and then twist it couple times to make sure that's really secure. And so then wrap this around. After you've wrapped it a couple times, you can twist those two ends together. And that should be pretty secure on there. We're gonna wind up tacking down some of these other bits later, so I wanna be too concerned. And just find how it already kind of is curving. It already has a shape. So just find where it's already doing that and go with it. It's easy. It's really easy. It's just, you have to take the time to do it and you have to enjoy doing it, which I do. Got my music going. It smells amazing. A lot of times I'll have an adult beverage and I just dance and drink a little wine or beer and then go to town. It's fun. It's a fun way to just do something for the day. And so that's, then after that, you want to start building.
doesn't love 1990s Britney? I'm not that innocent. Now that you have all of your pieces on, you wanna see where it needs to get secured. So a good way to do that is just to lift it up. I can already see this part is coming down and then this needs to be secured. Mostly the ends, because I secured it at the root, at all the stems. So anywhere where it's loose, I'm going to start tacking that down. And once it's tacked down, I'll put a bow on it. Well, I thought I recorded a whole part of this video explaining how to attach the bow, and it didn't record. So, since I'm running out of sunlight, instead of completely redoing it, I'm going to try to explain it to you now. If you would like to learn how to make a bow, I will link another video tutorial of how to make bows. I left the wire for the middle part of the bow really long. I'll flip it over so you can see. And then I wrapped it around a bunch of times, around a big chunk of these grapevines so that it could be really secure. And, and then I wrapped the ends, the tails of the ribbon around and I left them really long so that I could do that. And when I got to the end, I weaved it underneath so it could be really, the ends could be really secure. And that's it. Now I'm gonna hang it up on the door. Thank you so much for watching. That was it for how to make a wreath out of things that you found in the street. <laughs> I hope that you are adventurous and you go foraging in the woods, in the street, in your own yard, or at a, I don't know, a park or something where you're allowed to take that stuff. I, I don't want you to steal anything. I know I joked that I was stealing that from my neighbor, but really it fell off their tree and I doubt they were gonna do anything with it. I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for your love and support. Bye. <laughs>